I just remembered the other day that when I was a kid growing up, um, there were pubs, I have grew up in London, there were pubs that had men only sections in them. You know, and, it, and it's sort of unbelievable that, that now that that was even a thing. But that was my starting point, you know, and and then getting into wildlife filmmaking and, and there only being men on teams. But we've come so far and this just feels like, you know, it's going to really move it on so much more. I'm hoping that um, people who've always felt underrepresented or people who've never seen themselves in something like this will um, will get sparked, um, will get activated because um, it's it's not only about people who aspire to get into this field it's also about the ones who don't even know they want to get into this field um, and I'm hoping all these people will see it and and just throw themselves into this field because we need as many diverse voices telling these stories as possible. When I got into wildlife filmmaking I was mentored by Hugo van Lauwek who was Jane Goodall's partner and recorded her for all her famous and National Geographic shows and he obviously was not afraid of strong women and so I had a particular type of mentorship but I hadn't ever imagined I would be in the position to mentor and I still feel that his mentorship left a huge imprint on me because it was always about a conversation. It was always about a collaboration and with Queen's we've really, we have got as much out of the mentoring as I think the menteeing have. It's gone both ways and the, the absolute value of having faith from Kenya on the ground, giving us a unique insight and helping us all tell a better story. You know, isn't that, isn't that smart? Isn't that the way we should be going forward? I think mentorship is invaluable. Um, you're with people like Justine and Sophie who just have this wealth of knowledge and who you are getting to take it in. Um, I think it is different when it is a woman because there's different things, challenges that you face in the fields. There's, you know, questions that you can ask that you wouldn't be able to ask anyone else about, you know, hygiene, kids, whatever it might be, you can have these really honest conversations with, with them and how your future is going to look. Um, and then passing it on, I think, is really important too. Sophie and Justine have had probably filled so many questions from aspiring female cinematographers. And now we can kind of all share the, share the load and create a community that can uplift each other. I think that's the really cool thing as well. It's kind of come full circle and become an umbrella. And I think that's what Queens is all about is not just having, you know, Tanya, Erica and I as mentees, but about spreading it past then, showing mm -hmm. representation on camera, showing little girls and little boys like what talent can look like. I was really empowered when I was brought on this series to be myself as an artist, which is a very rare thing that happens as a composer. Um, so I feel very fortunate to have been given a lot of uh, leeway that I don't normally get. Um, but Chloe and I were very, um, very set on this idea that every time we would start a new episode, we would have a conversation about, I think, like what was inspiring me in terms of palette. So um, though there were kind of three buckets of sounds that we were generally pulling from, lots of vocals and, and using voice as an instrument, uh, synthesis and synthesizers, keyboards, et cetera, and then uh, some more traditional orchestration, um, those three buckets can have a lot of different kind of ways of expressing themselves, I think. So um, uh, yeah, Chloe and I would sit down and kind of have a, a little bit of a talk about the depth and scope of the sound and how that would reflect uh, each episode that we were working on. In particular with hyenas, I'm really excited for viewers to see a different side of them because we kind of got, you know, poisoned by the Lion King into thinking that they're these cowardly scavengers that are maybe a little bit gross. And they're actually these incredibly intelligent, social, loving mothers. And I think that that really comes through in both the magazine story and the series. Mm -hmm.